Hopefully you've had plenty of time to catch your breath after a frenetic last week in the Marble Survival 100. Today marks the start of a new set of seven races with the scores completely wiped away from last week. We begin anew in the quest for survival. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. The teams keep getting whittled down fewer and fewer. Some of the contraptions, they continue to pop up, much to the chagrin of several marbles who have had plenty of run-ins with them and they would prefer not to have any more. There you see our remaining competitors. Who will start the week off with a good result? And who will have to dig deep? Six races that come after this one. We are on our way through this field of pawns. It is Team Primary who briefly had the lead, but now everybody splays to the sides, past the closed pin snappers. Oh, one of the ball bearings goes backwards and nearly collects a couple of the marbles. Down in front, ooh, one of the ball bearings has been released. Oh, and that's a slightly new addition, that little side sweeper there. Team Primary trying to get off into the distance. Oceanics, Raspberry Racers, they're coming next. And it looks like it is the Bumblebees. Past the crazy Chevron. And already, across the line. Raspberry Racers, they look set to get second place. Bumblebees are caught on the trigger spring for the bell carousel. One of those dangerous positions, and there it goes. Can they find their way through? They get nudged to the side. Oh, and it looks like the Thunderbolts are gonna be stuck there for a little bit. So, uh, how's your Monday going? Do anything fun this weekend? Hopefully it went well. We're waiting, there we go, limping across the line. Isn't it the sound of the air that gets moving once that bell carousel spins up to speed? Those two, a healthy margin across the line. Next comes Solar Flares. And well off the back is Shock. So Arup, the captain of Team Primary, nets 13 points over Rezzy, Saucer, C, Slimeline, Bonbon, Swax, and Yella. Mandarin and Shock are in the bottom two after round number one. Here in the 12th week of competition in the Marble Survival 100, this race 78. We're on the drive to 100. And you have to think that after 78 races, this is really when the fatigue is gonna start to show. Some are going to get more focused, but others start making more mistakes, and that is to be expected after this many races. It's an incredible number that they have completed. Who will make it all the way, and who will be left ruining their chances after week number 12? The placement of the bell carousel always seems to stir some trepidation amongst our competitors, and the race organizers for this week decided to put it as the very last obstacle within spinning distance of the finish line, the site where so much heartbreak can happen, so tantalizingly close to the finish. What storylines will that bell carousel write over the remainder of week 12? Hey everybody! I'm Greg Woods. You can't forget about all of the other devices and traps that litter our course. As you see, the results of the first time down yesterday, Team Primary got the win over Raspberry Racers and Purple Rockets. O-Rangers, a bit of distance between them and Mellow Yellow, and way back to the Thunderbolts, who did fall victim to that centrifuge at the end. Who will make their moves here at the beginning, and who will find themselves victorious across the line? Race 79 is go in the race to survive. And once again, another good start for Team Primary, bounding between their other marbles before working through that pawn field. Now they come down here past the clothespin snappers, so their flares are in there. They get a nudge off of one of the springs. Those clothespin snappers are sending the ball bearings backwards. 
and are now playing a part in the proceedings as they come down. One of the large ball bearings has been tripped on the top side. Those sweepers are knocking marbles backwards. It's the Purple Rockets trying to get off through those waves. This time the field is fairly close together, maybe with the exception of one or two marbles. And our leaders coming across the line. That's a great race to avoid so much difficulty down here at the bottom. There goes the carousel. Who gets knocked backwards? The Orangers have one hit. There's two, three, four. The Chocolatiers get by, waiting for them to appear underneath the finish line. No, they don't. The Orangers manage to escape first. Just goes to show the unpredictability of that device at the end. Saucer gets the win for the Purple Rockets over Team Primary with another good finish. Resi for Raspberry Racers. The Oceanics are in there. It's O-Rangers in ninth for the second day in a row. And then the Chocolatiers at the back. What does this do for the standings? The O-Rangers find themselves tied for last with the Thunderbolts. Four points apiece for them. Up top, Team Primary continues to lead, the only team to get double-digit points hauls in each of the first two races. That gives them a two-point margin over the Purple Rockets and another two points beyond the Raspberry Racers. Oceanics, Limers, Mellow Yellow, Bumblebees, all still fairly close back there together in the mid-pack. Remember, you just have to score above the bottom two at the end of this week. I find it helpful sometimes to take a step back and look at the totality of this tournament. After this race, we will be four-fifths of the way through the whole darn thing. Race 80 awaits. Hey, everybody. I'm Greg Woods. This course, capped off by the Bell Carousel, has already delivered some hard hits over the course of this week. Who will fall victim to it today? Or... Who will find their way down this course and notch a victory that could be incredibly important in making their way out of relegation and to the top of the standings. Team Primary leads 24 points to 22 for the Purple Rockets. Raspberry Racers also eclipsing the 20 mark. If you're in single digits toward the back, well, it might be a good idea to start thinking about getting enough to put you in double digits, if not a double digit points finish today. Off we go through that immediate triangular split. Down they come. The Limers have a little bit of trouble and then gain a few spots as they come through that early multicolor section, now down through the ponds. It is Thunderbolts leading the O-Rangers. Bumblebees there as the clothespin snappers begin to launch. I believe it's Bumblebees that made their way to the front. Limers still on the top side there. Looked like trailing most of the field. Purple Rockets get shouldered aside. High up on that half pipe, there go the Thunderbolts. Snaking down through the waves. Hard impact between the O'Rangers. Oh, here goes the crazy Chevron, and it knocks the Bumblebees backwards, but only momentarily. That does not stop them too much or lose them any positions, but it's Team Primary who somehow shoots through everybody and gets the win. Then come the Bumblebees. I believe Purple Rockets got a good finish there. Limers are getting knocked backwards, as is the Ghost Marble. And it looks like the, the Thunderbolts are also getting pummeled. Thunderbolts come across the line. We await just the Limers, who keep getting sent backwards. Do they get out of it finally? They try to stay low. Where are they? There they go, limping across the line after some hard hits. Ouch. Oh, we have a DNF on the course. And it's the Chocolatiers. That is pretty high up. A couple of close races across the line there, but then it was such a big gap. 
Back to our final two marbles, the Thunderbolts and the Limers. Chocolatiers, they get the zero because they did not come across the line. Team Primary beats Swax of the Bumblebees and Saucer of the Purple Rockets. Raspberry Racers with Resi up there in fourth. Mellow Yellow's Yella comes in in fifth. Oceanics next with their Captain C. What does this do to the overall standings? Well, again, Team Primary, another double-digit finish. Two wins and a second place. Now have their gap at the top stretched 37 to 31 over the Purple Rockets, Saucer, then it's Raspberry Racers, Bumblebees, and Oceanics. At the back, the tie is broken, but it's still pretty bunched up, at least for a bottom three. O-Rangers, Thunderbolts, and then Chocolatiers. Those latter two are in danger of elimination as we reach the midway point of the week tomorrow. After an exciting day in round 80, we begin the final 20 races of the Marble Survival 100. Who of our 10 competitors will make it all the way to the end and find themselves as the inaugural champion? Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. These waves wiggle you back and forth. That is the least intimidating part of this course, perhaps. You pick your pathway and nothing's gonna hit you exit and off you go. Well yesterday the Chocolatiers became our first DNF of the week. Zero points for their Captain Bon Bon. Team Primary's consistency has been remarkable. Up front with Arup, their captain, guiding them to three straight top two finishes. Will that continue today or will somebody else emerge victorious? Down they go, and it's always a quick entry into those snow plows and immediately down to that funnel. The two blue marbles, the Oceanics and the Thunderbolts, were back off the pack together. The Rangers are struggling back there, Chocolatiers as well. As one of the close pin snappers goes, there goes the second. But it looks like that flying ball bearing did not catch any of our marbles quite yet. Another good run developing for Team Primary. One of those sweepers comes up, there goes the ball bearing, and it sits. Will it stop quivering before our last two get there? For the most part, yes. So the players now taking their turn at the point of the field. Still the same back two as they cross the crazy chevron. There it spins. It wiggles back and forth and miraculously comes to a stop before anybody can get hit. The same cannot be said for the Limers and the Purple Rockets. The once leaders get hit twice, now three times. Limers come across and the Purple Rockets get shoved across the line. We're still waiting back there. That's the Ghost Marble, but not sure if anybody else in the field. No, that is it. So everybody makes it over the line. Raspberry Racers do get the win over Swax. From the Bumblebees and Bon Bon, good recovery for the Chocolatiers. Team Primary, their first non-top two finish. They come through in fifth. It breaks their string of double digits, but they still stand atop the leaderboard by three points over the Raspberry Racers and the Purple Rockets. It's O-Rangers and Thunderbolts that sit in the bottom two right now, although O-Rangers are tied with the Chocolatiers, Limers are just one single point above them. We are now past the midway point of week number 12 for our 10 survivors who will find themselves in danger in the remaining races as we go into the weekend and who will see green on their name, guaranteeing that they are safe. Three days remain, three races, three chances for you to lift yourself out of potential elimination and guarantee seven more races in the next week of the Marble Survival 100. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Well, we had seen one DNF this week. We've seen plenty of hits. Once that bell carousel starts spinning around, the crazy Chevron is itching to deliver some wax. Will it happen today? 
Team Primary leads the way despite a middle-of-the-pack performance yesterday. Three points clear of the Raspberry Racers, Purple Rockets, Bumblebees are also in the hunt. Oceanic's not too far behind. Then it's all the Sub-20 club back there. Mellow Yellow, Limers on back. They are yet to break 20. They are still in danger. Nobody is technically safe, but could that change after today? Down we come. Who gets the best jump out of all of them? Well, so far it is the Limers. Purple Rockets are hot on their heels, working to that top side. Bumblebees, they work the low side. Past the clothespin snappers, both of them go, and I believe we had a ball bearing launched into the stands. My goodness. Hopefully everybody is okay. Hopefully that uh, plexiglass sheet that they sometimes put by the uh, crowd did its job. Ooh, one of the ball bearings sweeping up. You can tell if it was Oceanics back there. Oceanics, Thunderbolts, Team Primary are all close. The Rangers are trailing off the back of the field. Limers would need a good result here. They would love to get a nice points haul. And even getting a set off the crazy Chevron. No, but the bell, oh, there it goes. The bell carousel has also been triggered. It looks like Raspberry Racers are off the back of the pack right now. Will that change? Oh, a couple of hits. You hear those pleasant sounding bells, but the experience is anything but. It is Mellow Yellow. We've actually got three marbles and the ghost marble all caught in the bell carousel right now. Who is going to be released first? It is Primary, then the Raspberry Racers. Looks like Mellow Yellow. They are still caught up in it. More hits. Can they finally get around the bottom side? Yes, but only because the centrifuge was slowing down. At that point, you're really just protecting yourself from injury. You know you're going to be last anyway. Take your lumps and get going. Bon Bon gets the win over Swax from the Bumblebees and C from the Oceanics. Two captains and a reserve in the top three. It is Arup, Rezi, and Yella coming across the line last after a rather tumultuous trip around the bell carousel and around and around and around and around. Team Primary, they have done enough. Even though they netted just three points today, they are the sole team in green. They are guaranteed to survive to week 13. Raspberry Racers, Bumblebees, Purple Rockets, that field has tightened up. We only have two members of the Sub-20 Club, and it's Mellow Yellow and the Thunderbolts. They are our bottom two, trailing three points behind the Limers. The Rangers come next in seventh, Chocolatiers in sixth, but nine of the ten, they are not safe as we head into the Saturday and Sunday races, with the latter of those two being Elimination Day. Welcome to the weekend. Just two races remain before elimination tomorrow. Teams are jockeying for positions right now, but only one is safe. All of our other nine competitors, they are still in danger. For whom does that change today? Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. This is getting into the final moments of this week limited opportunities to make your moves and for team primary they can coast the rest of the way here if they so choose but for all of our other nine competitors they are on edge right now some are very nearly safe but others down at the bottom you now they are feeling a bit in danger Oh, that tension, you could cut it with a knife. Down they come. Team Primary goes toward the back of the field. Raspberry Racers is in last. That's okay for Team Primary. They are fine with that. Bumblebees, Mellow Yellow, they are leading the way. The Purple Rockets are up there. 
Close pin snappers, they get released. Raspberry Racer still trailing off the back of the pack. It might be O-Rangers in second to last, but that battle is very close. Those two yellow marbles are trying to disappear into the distance. They get ahead of that ball bearing, as do the Oceanics. Chocolatiers, Purple Rockets, Limers, they go by on the outside. They've gained a couple of positions. Pass the crazy Chevron, the top two, give it a wide berth. Not so, oh, and that was a very hard hit. But thankfully, the crazy Chevron stops itself instantly. Next up, for danger is the bell carousel. And it looks like everybody's gonna get by without triggering it. Oh, Rangers come in second to last, and then I think that was team primary, yes it was, in dead last. Again, that's okay, they are safe. C from the Oceanics gets the win over Yella from Mellow Yellow and Swax from the Bumblebees. Saucer from the Purple Rockets comes fourth. Bon Bon and Slime Lime. And look at this, the top five. Half of our field are safe. Bumblebees, Primary, Oceanics, Raspberry Racers, and Purple Rockets. They are all above 45. They are all safe for Chocolatiers, Mellow Yellow, Limers. Currently, O-Rangers and Thunderbolts are in the bottom two with one race remaining before we make our next cut. Five are guaranteed to make it to week 13. Who else will punch their ticket tomorrow? This is it. The final race in week number 12 here in the Marble Survival 100. A last chance for five teams to try to make their moves and get to safety and guarantee a spot in next week's competition. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Woods. Exactly half of our field, they are safe. For five teams, however, those marbles have to do it today because for two of them, there will be no tomorrow. Chocolatiers. Mellow Yellow, Limers, O-Rangers, and the Thunderbolts. They are currently in danger. The O-Rangers and the Thunderbolts in particular, they are in the bottom two. Everybody lined up in the blocks. Those top five teams, they are safe. But for this race at least, it doesn't mean that they are going to coast necessarily. Could they lay down some interference for some other teams? Last chance, off we go. It's Limers and Oceanics at the back. Bumblebees, they are at the point. Thunderbolts bump into them and they each go side to side by the clothespin snappers they come. It's still Raspberry Racers at the back. Oceanics, Mellow Yellow, they are also toward the back. Now Team Primary, they have recovered. Oh, everybody's at that meeting point, and the Limers went from third place to stuck until the O-Rangers came in and dislodged them. Different pathways being taken through the waves. Thunderbolts have fallen back. There go, oh, Airborne! My goodness! The crazy Chevron sent the Chocolatiers sky high. The Bell Carousel has caught up the Limers and the Raspberry Racers, it appears. The Limers are free. The Raspberry Racers are still caught up there along with the Ghost Marble. That's not gonna hurt them, of course, because they were already safe. Across the line they come. Oh, great battle there for the Purple Rockets to get the win. Right across the line from the Oceanics, Mellow Yellow, Bumblebees. Primary in a race there. But it is Saucer for the Purple Rockets. Sending up the victory flare. C from the Oceanics, Mellow Yellow. Bumblebees, Chocolatiers, Primary, Thunderbolts, O-Rangers, Limers, and Raspberry Racers. What does this do for the standings? The O-Rangers and the Thunderbolts, they are done. They were not able to overcome the points difference 
One single point separating the Limers in safety from the Rangers in elimination. Purple Rockets, they win the week, despite part of the week apparently being the Solar Flares. Oceanics come second, Bumblebees, Team Primary, Raspberry Racers, Chocolatiers, Mellow Yellow, and Limers. They will be our eight that are moving on to week number 13. The Rangers and the Thunderbolts made it a long way into this tournament, but they will not see it to the end. Congratulations to our podium finishers. This was a difficult week, and of course they have the podium ceremony in the shadow of the bell carousel, which was a defining feature of this competition over the last seven races. We hope you'll join us for week 13.